What's going on, everybody? This is Nosado Jir. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we're back with another video on the Game of Thrones. This is episode one, part two. We're back. Are you ready? Let's do this. So where we left off, we um we we're at the castle, I think it is some some sort of like a castle place where there's a village where there's a bunch of people who actually. And now we're like getting ready to attack or defend ourselves. We're not sure yet. And Ethan took the big sword that was supposed to be mine, but instead he's a little bitch being the king. And he took my damn sword. But we're gonna leave off from where we started. From where we left off. Were it up to me, I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's, I'll best. Do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. Everyone looks I've been sad. waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Um. What is it? I have it's an important, important message. Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is it? What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. I told well no done. one. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon... I may need your help, but I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Alright, thanks for the advice. That advice will help me one day. So Iron you guys just stare at each other? I was about to say. Iron from ice. Iron from Remember, ice. You represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll, I'll serve, serve with, with honor. honor. I know you will. Oh, thank you. Let's do this. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Giddy up, horsey. Damn, man, this horse is going slow as shit. She's coming back for me. Do you want me? Oh, no, she's gonna give me some fucking token. A necklace. Alright, thank you for the necklace with the tree on it. I'm happy now. When I come back, I'm gonna eat that, alright? I'll be back. Don't be sad. I will survive. Damn, it was just some... Like... The pressing is. Why is he playing hide and seek? He hides. To Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I'm here. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to be scared, little bitches. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here, and I promise I'm not going anywhere. I wish he promised. We here. And Asha. And. and Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and. Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. She's not gonna die, her little boy. To die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. 
He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. But Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. Jared's strong. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been Garrett. serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. Us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And you can't, you're a little you're fucking boy. Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does Milksop mean? Milksop? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Do you remember when we were younger? We I, I feel like someone's here. watching them in the distance. You, me, Roderick, Asher. Because the can't, we'll be camera wouldn't be hours. that far away. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. <laughs> you weren't born yet. Then everything changed. Roderick became so serious. The Lord in training. And he never smiled anymore. And Asher... Asher just got angry. At every... Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I promise I won't change. I won't Good, change. because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. I'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But What's that noise? since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So, I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? Of course. Why not? Huh. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. I'm coming. Yeah, just stare at each other. Don't say anything. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. I'm sorry, but Fine. I have to do my duty. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. Oh, what? Uh, okay, I was going to say, if he, is he walking home or is he just going to sit there and turn around and stare at them? There he goes. Hmm. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? I don't Tell know him what I say to him. Men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Is that him coming in? Yeah. Hello. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend Shake of his hand. my house. 
My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The foresters finally get their due. Don't test me, nigga. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. Bitch, I will fucking and stab no you right in your eyes. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Calm, Calm the fuck yourself, down. old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you had oh, yes, the fuck you are. with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Oh, it's that bitch that ran away. Little pussy ass bitch that ran away from Your earlier. man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. That's not That's how it not happened. Then you admit happened. it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He How do I answer? Your name. And you are the. How Lord do you answer for your damn men, house? We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? We haven't seen him. He was never here. I had to protect you Jared. Little liar. Or Jared. I will find him. By the gods, you better hope I do, because if I don't, I'm holding you responsible. And you'll answer for what he's done. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like Sorry, a bitch. wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Sorry, bitch. Shut the fuck up. This little lady's gonna tell you what the fuck to do. I mean, no disrespect to you, my lady. Considering you Shut the hell up. I'll smack you all. across your fucking this, face. This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Iron. Maybe Lord of this house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. I thought this bitch would turn around. I was about to throw a knife right in his head. Oh, you saw, you saw that eye? You saw those eyes. This bitch wants to fucking plan a small attack on me. He wants to come up at night and stab me right in my head. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. Send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. At once. Gears grinding. Your sister can help us. Oh, look at the big ass castle. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's oh, favor. Mira Forrester. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be it's enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Not Sister Jerry, Sister of the Lord Forrester. Ethan. I can control her now. Alright, let's see what's in the chest. Box. Let me check what's in here. Open this shit. Let's see what we got. Oh, there's a note. There's a note, there's two tokens, and there's a, a carved wood tree. Ethan made this for me. Oh, Ethan made this for me. Ethan made this for me. I don't give a fuck. 
How about this youngish? Ashes coin? sent me this coin to remember him. To remember him. What a strange place, Essos. What do you say? What'd she say? Essos? High Garden coin? It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. She's sad already. Really? Already? Alright, let's close this shit and let's check out what's, what else is in my room. There's fruit right here, but I can't see that. Oh, there's a book. Let's see. What we Wonders got? Wonders Made by Man. Wonders Made by Man by Thomas or Lamas. A gift from Roderick. Oh, it's a gift by Roderick. He died in battle. I hope to see them all someday. I've, I don't think she knows what happened because she wants to see Roderick. But Roderick's dead. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Where's she at anyways? I'm not... I'm not 100% sure what they said she was at. I was paying attention. Oh, a letter from Mother. Let's read the Mother letter. It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope. And can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Dun 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 dun. You wanna cry, little girl? You can cry. You even said, oh, someone's knocking at the door. Hello? One moment. Oh, sorry, m'lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No. It's no, okay. it's fine. Come in. He looks like a little boy. What is he doing? Begging your pardon, lady, but you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. All right. Hurry up. What, what is he doing? Is he putting like water in my Marjorie? basket? Why don't he just dump it? I may be wrong. But it seems like you do. Uh, uh, I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning. Outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? <laughs> What's wrong with her? She, she was like Cersei. To be and her eyes some opened sort up like crazy. Disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and and House Forrester. House Forrester. I hope you're not <sighs> in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and oh, ladies. Oh, he's a cold boy. I was gonna say, well, see and hear like, still, why don't you just fucking dump that shit in the basket? There. Good night, my lady. Good night, nigga. It's like twelve o'clock. It's like twelve o'clock. He's like, good night. Fuck. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come. There's something we must discuss. Oh shit. Alright. So. Pause it right here. This has been episode 1. Part 3. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like always. Stay healthy. Stay sexy. And I'll see you guys. In episode 1. Part 4.